Hi guys, some of you may remember that last month I said it was my birthday and something really cool happened. I got a really cool present. It's a custom made pie bow case for my Raspberry Pi. You can see all the different layers here in pink and blue and white. And it's got Geek Girl Diaries written on the front. Love it. Thanks to the guys at Pimeroni for this. Best present ever. But it got me thinking about cases in general. Like, do we need a case? If we do need a case, which ones are the best ones available? Here are my top five Raspberry Pi cases. First up is the cheap plastic case. If you're desperate for a case, you go to eBay, you can find cheap plastic ones for under five pounds delivered. And as you can see, this one just is in two parts, fits together around the Pi, and it has all the slots for the ports. What's really good about it is it even includes slots um, for things like the Pi Cam, which I've just bought, which is very exciting, which a lot of cases don't support. I suppose the only downside of this is you can't really customize it. It doesn't really look that cool. And number two is one of my favourite cases, the Punnet. This is actually made out of paper or very thin cardboard and you can download the template and print it. This is what the template looks like when it's printed. The cool thing about this is you can customise it, you can draw all over it. I give this to my students and I say make your own case for your Raspberry Pi and they really enjoy it. Here you can see I'm decorating mine with a bit of Geek Girl Diaries loveliness and I was really careful when I printed it out to check with the ruler first of all that it was the right size and that I had printed it correctly. Using a ruler there is a scale on it and I checked that the 50 millimeters was correct. Once you are happy with your design, you need to cut it out. I would recommend you use scissors. I'm gonna use a craft knife just so I can get a really nice clean edge. All the holes for the ports need to be cut out as well and I scored it on the inside so that I could fold it up and turn it into a rectangle sized pie box. Next, using some PVA glue and simply glue along the little tabs and then hold them together for a few seconds so that they bind. And then you can put your pie in when it's nice and clean and dry. You can see it fits perfectly. All the holes for the ports fit in beautifully in the right place. And you can just fold the top flap and glue it. And there you have it, your very own Punnet case. If you want to keep the dust off your pie or stop you from accidentally touching the components and having them short then the punny is a really good cheap idea and it's also fun to customize but it's not exactly weatherproof. Case number three is the Lego case. If you've got some Lego bricks lying around then you can build a case for your Raspberry Pi. I use the Lego case instructions on the Daily Brick. I also ordered a kit with the correct bricks in to be able to build my kit because I just didn't have any Lego lying around at home. But if you've got Lego at home, then go ahead and build your own case. You can follow these instructions on the website, although they are slightly difficult to follow because there's no written instructions. Or you could use the raspberrypi.org website. There's a really great tutorial um, created by a 12-year-old girl on how to build a case out of Lego as well. Um, slightly different instructions, but you get the same result, which is this very cool case. What I like about it is that you have access to the board itself just by taking off a lid. You can access the GPIO pins, you can plug in a Pi cam if you've got one, and it's easy to take the Pi in and out of that particular case. Again, not completely weatherproof, but customizable and a lot of fun. Number four, going a little bit more upmarket, is the Pi bow case. My first Pi bow case was an original Pi bow. Um, very easy to put together, a little bit time consuming, but what I like about it is that you can see the board, it's well labelled, it looks nice, and we use these in school for our class set of pie bows, and they're really durable and hard wearing, and the students really like them. And they come now in a variety of colours, and hey, I've even got my own customised pie bow. The pie bow case is made by the lovely people at Pimeroni. Here you can see on their website that they have a variety of colours and sizes and shapes even to fit Model A. Even mounting brackets to put it on the back of your TV or your monitor if you wanted to. And they also have these really cool coloured cables. I've got a pink one and I've got a blue US, micro USB cable as well. Last up is a bit of a cheat, it's the no case case. 
Do you really need a case for your Raspberry Pi? That's the question. I know a lot of people who say you don't need a case and they're quite happy to use it without. I've been to quite a few Raspberry Jams and code clubs and coder dojos where kids bring along their pies and they don't use a case. The argument is that really you only need a case to stop you from accidentally touching any of the components on the board and shorting them with the static electricity that's in your body or to keep it dust free or to prevent it from being damaged um, by something falling on it or maybe dropping some water or some tea or something on it that way. The no case case, definitely an option. So there you are, my top five sort of four really cases for your Raspberry Pi. My name is Carrie Ann. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and remember I'm just a mouse click away. Thank you.